So I got the call. They're like, they want you to be in Beauty and the Beast. And I'm like, oh, my God, I've always wanted to play Lumiere. They're like, no, they want you to play Le Fou. I'm like, the two-foot-tall fat guy who, like, <laughs> has his teeth knocked out all the time? That's what they want? They're like, yeah. They're seeing nobody else. <laughs> I'm like, this is awful. But, you know... What was so great about it, and the reason that I wasn't nervous was Bill Condon, our brilliant director. Yeah, you can applaud. He, he's amazing. He, <laughs> Chicago, um, yeah, I mean, everything that he's done has been incredible. Uh, Dream Girls. And he sat down and we were discussing that we wanted to bring new dimension to all these characters, to the story. And for me, LeFou, because so much of his character and comedy comes out of cartoon conceits, the, we wanted it to, to have a little bit more heart, a little bit more specificity. And in this version, um, LeFou, he's got pathos. You know, he, he actually has a conscience. And when he sees his, you know, this guy that he worships in Gaston, start to whip this village up into a frenzy, he doesn't just blindly follow. He actually starts to wake up and say, well, is the real beast the one with the fur hiding in the castle? Or is it the one who's pretending to be like everyone else by my side? And I thought that that was a really interesting question to ask. And again, it's one of the many nuances in our film that take everything that you fell in love with in the 91 original, but build on those moments. 